everyone and welcome to the Babayara Sports Stadium where this evening we're bringing you the commencement of coverage for match day five in the ongoing Ghana Premier League powered by Betz Power. It's Asante Kotoko at home taking on Adriana Football Club. Much anticipated game that doubles as a crunch decider for these two sides. Battles between them has not been easy. Weather is fine for association football with a cool gentle breeze over the Ashanti region. So there it is, observance of a minute silence for the departed Madame Theresa Kufuor. Referee Clue gets us underway and it's Kotoko who begin the match playing from left to right. Into defense it goes. Quick recovery by Richard. What a mistake! Oh, quick reflex save. But Kotoko have another opportunity coming forward. And this time to the rescue is Yao and Safufro. But it was a terrible mistake on the part of Richard Tete when Ibiana won their last match against Brekum Chelsea got the lone goal in the game yes Lamte Lamte lays on the pass swift attack by Kotoko into the 18 yard box defended nicely by Ibiana good recovery fallback from God, uh, Godfred Koku Waki that was another opportunity for Sante Kotoko Peter Aqua what is he doing in the box that was another opportunity for Kotoko good work done by Japon Passes through the middle, Kotoko keep the ball to themselves. Yes, Lamte now, he's got space in front of him. Tries to catch through in the middle, there was a mistake. Late foot in there. All the way back to Yawansa. Richmond Lamte charges after that. Yawansa gets there first and balloons into safety. Sprints back to take his position as Kotoko come forward. Nice block there from Derek Afferson. Referee Clue was close to that spot. Gets the advantage. So that's the incident. Yaran Safufro comes out of his line to put the ball out of play. Quick throw by Richmond Lamte. He finds Peter Aqua. And he delivered that shot. Let's look at it. Whether the hands was in a natural position or not. I think Asante Kotoko had a legitimate call for a penalty. Pretty quickly affected. Yes, Lamte! Off target. But the idea was good. He just needed a little bit of the direction. Definitely a rehearsed idea from the training ground. We saw their combination against Akar Lions and they are trying a similar thing here. But unfortunately, this try from Richmond Lamte was always going wide. But to go have the advantage. They come forward now. On ball through the middle. Not defended well. Good recovery by Apherson. In the thick of affairs. But it's still Kotoko. Into the 18 yard box and he goes over the line. Brilliant attacking play from Asante Kotoko, resulting in a corner kick for the. Oh, and the ball is in the net! That's the first goal for Kotoko! Well, he did it away from home. He has come to do it in home. The fans are solidly behind him. It is Kalu Watara time! Definitely, definitely, you will not take that from Kalu Watara. Great cross from Richmond Lante. And a perfect header from Kalu Watara. He scored against Akar Lyos with a header. And he's put Kotoko ahead with another great header. Look at that delivery from Richmond Lante. Great, great goal by the Porcupine Warriors. And it's the reason why Stephen Mukwala is on the bench. Kalu Watara is really a confident player. What a goal! Throwing quickly affected Adriana now having to chase shadows as Kotoko come at them. Oh, key cross. Chess could not bring the ball down. Augustine's square cross and eventually is cleared out. But it's surprising that Enoch Morrison could not bring the ball down. Very easy job for him. Still, the need to move forward. Kotoko through the middle. Saki was there. But they still come forward. A long drive. Opportunity was good. The idea was good. He's done it before. Enoch Morrison. We saw a lot of goals from last season. Morrison has that drive. He has that power. But on this occasion, his strike was just too much. Just flying over the top. But Zakaria once again. He drills in the cross. Right AJ brought it down. And then the shot is delivered. Oh! Sam Adams 
drills the corner kick in nicely. The header is on! Reflexive save from Ibrahim Dunla. That was another one. Perfect cross from Sam Adams. And look at that cross from Ricky of Rebiana Stars. Obo beat this time. Well, he gets it once again. Douglas through the middle. Shot is fired on target. That was good. Gabriel lays the pass back and then it's spread once again into the 18-yard box. Pressure on Adriana Stars. Shaibu gets his head to it. And that went to a shot. Idea was good once again. Kotoko keeping the area of Adriana boiling. Clever, clever shot from Peter Amidu Aqua. That was a great strike in the box. The control. Look at that save also from Yao and Sakukro. Got that nicely quick turn now. Kalu gets more involved. Can he keep it in play? He does so very well. Gets in an inviting cross. Lamte! Easy for goalkeeper Yao and Sakufro to deal with it. Lamte was at a very good position. Takes on to his left and delivered that powerful strike. But straight to goalkeeper Yao and Sakufro. Break kick to Indiana, but will it be enough? We have done six minutes of add on time. Referee Kulu brings the match to an end. Kumasi Asante Kotoko pick up. Golden three undiluted points at home. Back to back victories for the Porcupine Warriors. And it's the man in your shot, Kalu Watara, who will take all the glory. Both goalkeepers, well, they've had a very good game. But it's been Dunlad, who's been on virtual holiday. Full time score from the Babayara Stadium at Asante Kotoko 1. Adriana FC nil.